Hi guys. Um Hi. I hope you guys are well. Um I don't remember the last time I did a video. Um Yeah. I don't remember the last time I did a video. So there's probably quite a lot that I need to update you guys on. Um I think the last video was somewhere around May, if I'm not mistaken. Um in terms of the chemo and cancer update and so on and so forth. Um, and then I did other videos after that with like normal people shit, you know. Um, so this one is for my cancer community. Um, and yeah, basically anyone dealing with um, having had a severe illness or um, losing someone to cancer or any life-threatening disease, whatever it may be. Um, I'm very nervous. I'm playing with my hands a lot while doing this video. Um, simply because I've been hiding a lot of these feelings for a long time um yeah yeah um hopefully it's not noticeable that i have one eye full of lashes and the other one <laughs> the lashes are coming off anyway um yeah so the reason for this video is basically just number one an update number two um to leave a little message um, so yeah, let me start with the update. Um, it is now November and I have been for, what, 11 checkups. Um, I think I missed, like I skipped a month or two, um, but not skipped the checkup, just I did the bloods and everything, but yeah, yeah, um, so not so long ago my doctor yeah my um doctor the one that the specialist physician that i was seeing from the beginning who was with me in hospital um who who was basically like my support structure because I was diagnosed during COVID and um, you couldn't have visitors at the hospital at that time. So, yeah. Um, I think it's important to share, especially for me, I don't talk about a lot of the things that bother me. Um, I'm, a, I'm an open book, so I talk about literally everything. But like the things that really hurt me, I don't speak about those things to anyone. Um, yeah, so I thought this video was necessary so yeah um, he passed away he was sick for a while he was on dialysis for a few years um, but he was the most positive joyful person ever I'm gonna do my best to stop pausing videos. Um, 
yeah he was the most positive and the most joyful and friendly welcoming kind loving doctor i've ever met um so yeah um after all of that happened he was so he was basically sick for um i would say two months um he got an infection and um yeah it kind of just spiraled from me and i didn't see him i think since the end of august and yeah and then i just went to do my blast because i thought that he was going to get better okay we're trying eh? yeah i thought that he was going to get better and um that's why i refused to consult with another doctor or you know i just honestly i thought he would be fine um and then yeah we got the news and um i've since been referred to a new doctor um i still need to get to know him but he looks okay um yeah other than that i've been clear every um month besides last month i had a little bit of a ski um because i felt something here and obviously i didn't want to just um you know yeah leave it because <laughs> you know we don't want the repeat of the last time anyway and i went to go and check and um went to do an ultrasound and the ultrasound showed that it was just a reactive node so it wasn't anything serious so that's a good thing so still all clear um i'm seeing my doctor my new doctor on the 28th of this month so hopefully he will be able to tell me when my port will be removed because it's obviously still not removed I'm hoping that that's at the end of the year or the beginning of Jan. Um, other than that, me. other than that, I've just been kind of living, you know, and I've had very happy moments. I've had very um, joyful moments that i'm very grateful for and also i've had moments where i kind of lose myself i get confused about like who i am and what i'm supposed to be doing here and kind of just like dealing with the anti-climax of being a cancer survivor it's amazing that you beat cancer but just learning how to love after that is difficult um yeah i think it takes some time um i haven't been it will be one year post chemo on the 29th of december yeah um i've gained a lot of weight which I think is a good thing plus a bad thing. <laughs> I've started eating regularly and well enough. Um, I started drumming, which is actually amazing because, yeah, like, I have so much more strength and endurance and it's weird compared to the last time I was drumming. But yeah, um, so yeah, the reason for me actually coming on here today is... I'm sure you've noticed I can't really look at the camera when I'm speaking about things like this. I can't really, I'm not good at this, but um, yeah, like, you know, I am going on a trip 
this weekend it will be my first trip um after everything and i'm so grateful for the people that i'm going with and um the opportunity to go you know to be alive still to be a cancer survivor to be afforded the opportunities that i have and i'm super excited and i'm happy i packed early on i'm really excited for that um it's just you have those moments you know and it comes at the weirdest time okay you kind of just really feel the anger you know for like everything that has happened you kind of just you really feel the anger and it's just like it makes you want to be distant it makes you want to be silent it makes you want to withdraw it kind of puts you back to a place where you were and that stuff but yeah like in the last few months i've been i would say really happy not gonna lie um i have my days obviously today right now is a bad moment but i've learned not to attach myself to bad moments and drag them out into a bad week or a bad day or a bad life so that's what i'm learning to do it's not easy but i am learning how to do it um so yeah <laughs> um in terms of the depression and all of that stuff is flies but anyway in terms of the depression and all of that stuff i think i've dealt with it pretty well i think i've made progress um Um, it's weird to talk about again because I've been putting up this facade that you know all's good peachy but yeah man guys like I was also um, I was on the up and coming magazine um for the Hodgkin story and I was on SABC1 I think I did upload that if I'm not mistaken I don't really remember but yeah um, I've been blessed really been blessed um, in many aspects of my life and I'm very grateful for all of those things um, what I will say is that a lot of people after after cancer try and find a normalcy or normality um, and it's hard guys wow <laughs> you know you try every day um, subconsciously basically to be normal but you know there's always that thing in the back of your mind um yeah so i think you know it's only normal to share this side of it as well because i know a lot of people just share normal stuff afterwards because they want to be considered normal i do too more than anything but I've also come to the realization that I am normal. Um, I just had to go through something 
life changing you know and we pray to god that it never recurs but yeah it's it's not something that you can forget about so yeah regardless of what you're going through it could be ptsd from cancer it could be losing someone to cancer it could be losing a job it could be losing a friend it could be anything losing a loved one going through just your own mental battles um you know going through financial stress going through relationship changes whatever it may be we are all human and we should be allowed to feel what we need to feel even though society forces us to be strong and forces us to be positive and keep going you know frowns upon mental health depression anxiety because it doesn't fall part of a pretty picture you know and um, life isn't a pretty picture you know there's no good without the bad you can eat both but yeah also just know when to appreciate and embrace the good and not just hold on to and attach yourself to the bad but yeah I will say that whoever you have in your life whoever you are around whoever you love don't waste time you know don't don't take them for granted and be kind be kind to people in general doesn't cost anything to be kind but yeah yeah that was basically just a little check up uh, i'm gonna be posting about this more because i feel like it's an outlet for me a healthy one um and that's obviously what i'm working towards personally i'm getting to a point where i couldn't give two fucks what people have to say about me um about the way i choose to share and um what i choose to share how I look when I share these things and if I'm not aesthetically pleasing you guys all know I don't give a fuck I really don't and if there's anyone elderly or older that's watching this it wasn't intended to be rude there's just no other way to put it because yeah but yeah um, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the week and weekend. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but yeah. Um, yeah, and just stay safe, be grateful, pray, thank God, and love.